Yes, yes, Massive and Crew back once again with another video. And today I'm going to show you a quick tutorial on how to use phrases on Renoise. Phrases are very, very, uh, very, very good tool if you want to create your own specific drum patterns that you want to use later on in your project. Uh, you could do it also while you're working, but you know, maybe just let's say for example, sometimes you don't want to, uh, you know, you're not feeling like writing a full songs, but you just want to have a mess about with beats. Well, phrases are a good way of saving your library and keeping it all organized so that you can call on beats for later on for a rainy day. Maybe one day you've got a good bass line and you need a good drum kick, drum uh, loop to go with it. And you just, you're looking for that loop, man. And some days you're in a loop mood, some days you're in a drum mood some days you're in a melody mood or or some days you just it just all comes together quick and that's how production works so what i'm going to show you today is a way that you can um create your 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 drum patterns and and uh, use it and apply it accordingly so to start with we're going to go for a jump up style pattern so i've got the real 95 jump up uh, pack here which i'm going to grab and in, in here i've got some breaks uh, let's go into here and we'll go into our straight loops folder and let's see what we got here so we got in, in fact let's go to the raw breaks might, might make life a little easier so we'll go to the raw breaks right and on the raw breaks now we we'll find like a nice little one plus one break little, little scotty style break right and uh, for those of you who know Jungle, you know the Scotty track. You remember that track there? Well, this is the break uh, that, that they use. Not this break, but but this is the same break that they use. And as you look here, so gonna going to go like that, right? And just make sure that before you start your recycling now, your, you call it recycle, before you start your splicing, make sure your loop is turned off. That's very important, yeah? Once your loop is turned off, you then turn on the slices and then it should auto slice the loop look quite cleanly. Not all loops would, would do it this way. Sometimes you've got to tweak with it and the, the beauty of that is you've got this pencil at the top there. For those of you who've been watching my tutorials regularly, you will know what to do with all these, right? So you just go through, you get your break, you clean it all up as best as you can. And oh, well, you want it tight to be honest because um, you want your break sounding clean. And then you go through all the individual hits. There you go. Every time I move my head, it makes a squeaky noise. It's really annoying. All right, hear that? Clean that up. All right, so. Sweet. Okay, so we do that. Right, let's do this now. And then another one. Sweet. Okay, so I don't even need the whole break for to do what I want to do here now, right? So now I'm going to create my little break here, my little my little break. So I'm going to have like, uh, let's see, let's just recreate the actual loop itself. That bloody noise, it's horrible. <laughs> Every time I move my head. Okay, so we want to put that there. I'm going to try to ignore that. I'm going to ignore that noise. Okay. Okay. Awkward. Okay. Okay, there's a bit of a pop there. Hear it? Right at the end. There it is. Alright, so if you go in there, you can see like it's a little blib there. Can you see it? Okay, so that's clean. Alright, so we got... Okay, so we got that, yeah. Let's put another little. Nice. Okay, so I've done that. And then I'm just going to now create a phrase from this now. So I'm going to go like this, right? So go Bosch. Then I'm going to go like that, track. And I'm going to go create a phrase, Bosch. Now, once you do that, you'll get another little instrument that pop up here. Click on that. And then in here, this little bit here is your phrase. And if you press the enter key, return key, it'll play the phrase. Now, you can just like create a whole pattern that long if you wanted to. And, you know, this is something that you could, you could vary, you could mash up. You know, if I wanted to do, I could just copy that all over like you know like so and i could just go like bosch and then control apple v or whatever boom boom and boom actually you know what's pretty cool i'm gonna just copy that and then i'm gonna just do that here all right and then 
Uh, yeah, so I'm going to go. Yeah. Right, so that would be one, and that finishes on the 20, line 20. So then I'm going to chop line, I'm going to chop it at line 20, and then that's going to be a nice little loop. And that is now phrase number one. Now here's what the beauty is the beauty of it. Now I can get this and I can press key group, right? And then I can assign this to keys. So this first key group, I'm going to assign it to C on its own, C4. Then I'm going to right click it here, and then I'm going to duplicate it. And then when I go into the duplicate now, I can then now do some variants of it. I can do stuff like, so I can do a little cool little, now let's get a little, get a little ding, ding, ding. Yeah, let's do that. Boom, bam, all right, boom, ding. And then we got boom. Yeah. yeah, nice. So we've got another pattern there. And I'm going to stick to 10s now because I don't want to just long it all out. So I'm going to go 10. Right, and then that's going to be... And that's going to be pattern number two. Drag that to C3 sharp. See where I'm going with this now? And then pattern number three. Duplicate that. And, and I'll, usually what I'll do is I'll go up to about eight or, or, or so patterns, six or eight patterns, right? And then I'll just do stuff like... Let's just do one where it's all shuffly. Mad shuffles in between. All right, boom. Then I would then grab, drag that, put that on another key as well, Bosch. Now, there's where you can do a few tricks on here as well. This is the cool part, right? Right, so you can use phrases for instruments as well. I'll do another video about that. So now I can have a little roll, roll there, look. And then look, let me just go, let me just be cheeky. I'm gonna put a little. Or, or I could have a straight roll. Look, let's just get creative now. Uh, uh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Did I press duplicate? I didn't press duplicate on the last pattern, did I? Uh, okay, what the hell? Okay, no, never mind. Just keep it. Just keep, keep, keep going, keep going, keep going. We're on a roll. We're on a roll. Okay, so that's that. And then pop that there. And uh, yeah. Okay, so we got that one, and then I'm going to drag that to here. So that's number three. Okay, so he's configured. Now I'm going to just do duplicate again. I'm going to do this next one with some snares. Not snare, Brian. Right. And then same again. Okay, guys, so once you've done that now, um, I've run it erased ahead, and I've done a few more patterns just to show you where we're at. So we've got... All, all these patterns on different keys. I've assigned five different patterns. And now the plan is to press the keyboard and you'll see on the keyboard where all the all the different, uh, it's like all the different patterns are assigned like key groups. And then down here, you've got, like up here, up here, you've got your chops. So you can still use those in your routine, right? If you wanted to do some improvisation edits and stuff. But look, look at the nice thing now. So now you've got different patterns. So let me just record that for you. Okay, so guys, so I'm just going to do this quickly on the camera. So once you finish your improvised, so once you've finished all of those patterns now, as you've seen, I've um, you can just, once you've finished all those patterns, they look something like this on the keyboard. So now you can just do stuff like. And there you have it. That's phrases, guys. Hope you like it. You can do lots more creative stuff with that if you take your time and you just check it out. But that's a very, very powerful thing to do. And then once you're finished with it, you can then get your break and you can then save it in your library which you can call up. So if you click this button here, this is the access to the Renoise kind of user library. You can add your folders and do what, as you see, this is my little user library that I've got here. You've got some default sounds in there, but I've also created lots of stuff in over the time that I have been doing Renoise. And as you see, I can see I've got my breaks folder there and I can just call it uh, jump up, up break. And then I could call it jump up break number 
uh, whatever, two, three, four, five, six, or whatever, f 5,000, whatever you want. So, guys, I hope you found this video useful. Please like, share, and subscribe, guys. I want to see a lot more likes on these videos. I see a lot of views. You guys can just, uh, if you could just smash that like button for me, because I've seen on the video 100 views and 12 likes. What kind of thing is that? Or 23 likes. 100 views, 100 likes, you know, uh, 200 views, 200 likes. You guys will be really helping me to get to the top of YouTube's algorithm and get more subs on the channel and therefore make this a more viable thing for me to be doing. So please, guys, support the channel. Smash that like button. Take care. God bless. Peace. Take care. God bless. Peace.